guys, my name is Josh Bumanigo, and welcome to me taking the Lab of Trivia Quiz for free. And, uh, yeah, and if you're not familiar with this quiz, basically this is a quiz that contains 20 items with multiple choices. And, and also this quiz has your scripture knowledge to make sure, like, you know the Bible really well. So, yeah, I'm going to take this quiz, and without further ado, let's get on to this. Number one. Who wrote the most books of the New Testament? It's Paul, which is part of my name. Joshua Paul Moninga. Number two, behold, I will send you blank, the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Oh. I'll send you blank. Oh. Ezekiel. <laughs> Number three, who was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary? This is already a tough question, just like the other one. Oh no! It was the father of Joseph. I'm gonna go say Jeconias. Okay, this is a long one. Number four, who said, I blessed the Most High, and I praised and honored him that lived forever, whose dominion is in everlasting dominion, his kingdom is from generation to generation. Jacob, Paul, Moses, and Nebuchadnezzar. I'm gonna say Nebuchadnezzar. I'm not sure though. Number five, which book can the following be found in? Be ye not angry and sin not. Let not the sin go down upon your wrath, neither gave place to the devil. I think I know this one. I'm pretty sure it's in Ephesians. Okay, number six, Psalms 119 has so many verses. Really? Really? There's no way. It's gotta be 176. <laughs> I don't know my Psalms really well. Third, what is the seventh commandment? Oh! And I commit adultery. Number eight, why did God reject Saul from being king over Israel? Saul did not kill all the I'm I'm not gonna see that one. Number nine, what was Jacob's trouble in the land? Dinah's disgrace, three burials, Deborah, Rachel, and Isaac. Joseph saw all the above. Dinah's disgrace. Yep, Jacob's daughter. Three burials, Deborah Deborah? Seriously, no what no way. Rachel, yep. Isaac, yep. I'm gonna say uh, oh, trouble your land. Joseph Salt. What was Abraham counted righteous? For his good works, he followed the law where his faith be. Oh, good works or faith? Faith. What for faith? Number 11, they have moved me to blank, which that which is not God. Anger, wrath, jealousy, vengeance. Anger? Number 12, the word faith is used how many times in the Bible? Yay! The previous one, you asked me how many times faith is used in Hebrews 11. And now you're asking me how many times it is used in the whole Bible. Yay! I'm going to say for the sort of middle one. Number 13, the whole land shall be blank, yet will I not make a full land. Laid waste in Reuben's barren or desolate. What? Go for desolate, which I don't know, yeah, shall be... It Rubens, I think. Number 14. Why was God angry with Saul? He had too many wives with a two that is spelled wrong. He went after other gods. He did not keep the Sabbath or he did not build the Lord to like said. Okay, so the choices are like linked to a chain reaction, if that makes sense. Because Solomon had too many wives and that those wives went to other gods. So, that. Number 15. For with blank, nothing shall be impossible. With God, nothing is possible, man. 16, well, how many generations for Abraham Jesus? <laughs> Seriously? Why would I count? I'm gonna go for, oh, 70. Good number. I'm gonna go for 100. Number 17, what does Emmanuel mean? God with us. Number 18, who said, but the wicked shall perish and the enemies of the Lord shall be as fat of lambs, they shall consume, into smoke shall they consume away. David, Jesus, Paul, Moses. Oh, go for David, man. Number 19, the final pot is for silver and the furnace for gold. But the Lord tests the spirit, tried the heart, or burn harder than these into David's vengeance, or not build both. <sighs> or burn harder than these into David's vengeance, I'm for the obvious one. Okay, the last one. Which parable did Jesus tell us and learn? Marriage feast, sower, scribe, victory. Okay, I'm gonna go for a sower. Okay, here we go. I'm about to get my score. Okay, I'm gonna have my own drum roll now. Here we go.
Okay, I got 50% again. Okay, what is wrong with my scripture now? So I always gotta have right. So yeah, anyways, that's gonna be all for today. The link to this quiz is in the description below, so you guys can check this out. And guys, if you really like this video, be sure to click that like button down below. And be sure to subscribe if you really love my videos and don't want to miss out any of those videos. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. God bless you all. Thank you, bye.